Okay, this is part two of the arm. Uh, we're moving down to the forearm. First we look at the anterior muscles of the forearm. These are called the flexors because they flex the wrist. Now if knowing your directional terms, we're going to work from medial to lateral. The first one, flexor carpi ulnaris. Palmaris longus goes right down through the center of the palm. Palmaris longus. Flexor carpi radialis. So it's a flexor. It goes to the wrist and the radius. Flexor carpi radialis. Continuing laterally, you have the small muscle pronator teres, which pronates or turns the hand down, and then brachial radialis. One muscle that's deep to the palmaris longus it's called the flexor digitorum superficialis. It's this muscle here. Okay. So, flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris longus, flexor carpi radialis, pronator teres. Now going to the posterior compartment of the arm, the wrist extensors, these muscles extend the wrist, bring it up. You would have the extensor carpi ulnaris, extensor digitorum and then the extensor carpi radialis which is actually two muscles it's a longus and a brevis coming down this way so extensor carpi ulnaris extensor digitorum extensor carpi radialis now deep to those muscles in the posterior compartment of the forearm let me take these off is a muscle called the supinator so this turns the hand, the palm, upwards as opposed to the pronator teres, which turned it downward. And the next muscle coming down here is known as the hitchhiker's uh, muscle, the abductor, adductor pollicis longus. So it raises your thumb like in a hitchhiking mood. So abductor pollicis longus. And then the muscles down on the hand are called the lumbrical muscles for the most part. That's it.